I was a young adult um, and diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I was actually in my uh, second year of graduate school working on my PhD and um, had started working in pediatric diabetes. My reaction to the diagnosis at that time was, I, I mean, I was scared. My initial treatment regimen was um, injections. I took the insulin at a certain time, I was gonna have to snack at a certain time, and I was gonna have to eat lunch at a certain time, and so there was very little flexibility in my days. With my current treatment regimen of um, an insulin pump, it much more mirrors the kind of physiologic need of insulin in the body. I think that my quality of life has improved because I, I am able to eat when I want. I'm able to um, change the amount of insulin I'm getting if I'm exercising. So the, the pump is, has been a, a really nice tool. From the continuous glucose monitoring perspective, it's, um, so this is, it's relatively new technology. What it does is it um, provides an estimate of what the glucose is in your, in your body um, every, about every five minutes. And you have a constant um, idea of the direction that your blood sugar is going and um, the rate that it's changing. Certainly my um, idea um, and re response and reaction to diabetes has changed since um, initially being scared and unsure of what was going to happen, um, to now feeling um, very confident that I can take care of it. I'm healthier now than I was almost 14 years ago when I was diagnosed. I think that the ability to um, improve control with some of these technologies as well as to improve quality of life does help to prevent um, hospitalizations. And there are some data to, to suggest that. We see um, individuals achieving better outcomes. the most promising technology that's um, coming down the pike is, is really this idea of closing the loop. So the existing technologies that we have are great tools. Um, a system, and we, in the diabetes world it's referred to as closing the loop or a closed loop system, um, is where you can allow, you can have those two pieces of technology speaking to each other. It's important to continue to do research and, um, and find new um, innovative technologies because this is, this is where we're going to find some kind of technologic cure.